Outages are common when there's bad weather, but we all know that. But what about an outage on a sunny day? Well, tenants in Spiken Island say they lose power all the time for no apparent reason. They have a solution, but as our Alicia Lavenger explains, Con Edison isn't on board. Spite and Dival is one of few neighborhoods in the city with above ground power lines and residents say their power always goes out every time we have two drops of rain our lights blow it, it, it's a constant thing constant at this building and six others in the area with diabetes Noelia Alvarez says these outages put her life at risk that's why I keep two coolers to keep my insulin there just in case, because I never know. That's why neighbors want Con Ed to move the power lines underground. Assemblyman Jeffrey Dinowitz pledged Friday to make them act. There are a lot of people who are really angry. In fact, Dinowitz has been on Con Ed since 2010. And after requesting it investigate the problem, Con Ed sent this letter saying engineers didn't find any evidence of poor performance. And the intermittent outages is an indication the system is working normally. Con Edison should put these cables underground to eliminate this. This is just unbearable. But when they ask to bury the power lines... What's Con Ed's response? Oh, it's too expensive. Oh, well, Con Ed says it would cost $5.8 million per mile to bury those lines. Well, the story is our question of the day. Well, you might expect to lose power when a storm like Sandy rolled through town. But imagine losing power from a gust of wind. That's what tenants in Spite and Dye will say is the situation there. Our Alicia Lavenger has more. Earlier this morning, I talked to a man who tells me at one point his building had about 50 power outages a year. Could you imagine having to have candles and flashlights on standby so often? Well, for the people living in this building behind me and others in the Spite and Dival area, that's the reality. Earlier this morning, Assemblyman Jerry Denowitz met with members of the community who all agree the solution is to take the cable wires currently above ground and reinstall them underground, just as they are in Manhattan. Denowitz has actually been fighting for Con Ed to do this for years, well before Sandy ever came to town. And every time he asks, he says Con Ed gives him the same answer. It's too expensive. There are about seven buildings in the area that experience frequent outages with tenants who are most mostly seniors, and with medical conditions that require steady power, they say resolving this issue is a matter of life and death. I'm diabetic. I had no, ref no refrigeration. I had to uh, buy ice, put it in a cooler to keep my insulin uh, cool. Now we've reached out to Con Ed to ask them why they refuse to bury the power lines and how extensive of a project this would be. We'll let you know when we hear back from them, but for now, in Spite and Dyville, Alicia Lavenger, News 12, The Bronx. And Con Ed recently got back to us and says service agents will meet, be meeting with residents next month to discuss the outages. Your choice of electronics.